All right, there we go. So hello to everyone watching this video. I hope that all is going well for you. Um, but this video kind of is meant to address those who might not be going through uh, the best of times and feel like you might be being dragged down by um, something negative that's going on at any given time. Um, it's 12.30 in the morning, almost 12.40 now, so if, uh, if I don't make any sense, I apologize, but I just really want to get this out because I feel inspired to do so. I saw another video about this, and I just hope that I can kind of convey that message to people in the community because I do know that there is um, some people struggling to deal with, like, bullying or other kinds of negativity um, that they feel is targeted at them. And I just hope that this will help you to kind of block that out and just focus on the good. So this is partially inspired by some incidents that I've seen over the past several weeks um, with some people in the community. Um, it pertains to anything that you may be going through, whether it's online related, whether it's like on uh, like in the community or anything or any other community that's like online on the internet somewhere or in real life like if you're struggling with bullying of any sort at school or any or in your life at all excuse me there um so i just hope that this is going to help out a bit so pretty much what it boils down to is just how how modern society is now and also just kind of how our brains register these negative voices. Um, the voices that are trying to bring us down in some way, shape, or form. The voices that are talking negatively about literally everything. Uh, the voices that are outright trying to demean us. Or bully us or try and get us to react in a negative way. Um, these are the loudest types of voices, but they're not nearly as common as the positive voices. But the positive voices are a lot softer. So it's a lot harder to pick up on them when you're in a negative situation where you have that negative voice just constantly screaming in your ear um, trying to bring you down so whoops, sorry about that I got my laptop screen uh, it's pretty much acting as the background light and the screensaver came on there so sorry about that <laughs> this is a very impromptu video but I felt inspired to do it um so anyways um, an example of um, a negative voice being louder than a positive one, even when the positive voices are more numerous. Uh, just happened kind of recently. It was on, I believe, the most recent of Elijah Gordon's talk shows. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And, um, and, uh, Hannah was in the chat, and, um, this was obviously after that whole deal with which went down a few weeks ago now. So we've been almost in a reeling state and trying to uh, keep things positive ever since. And some random troll who I saw on another channel before came by and said some very inappropriate things and also said something to Hannah, which in all honesty, it was blatantly obvious that their sole reason that they said that uh, was just to provoke a response. Uh, they said along the lines of, like, um, in relation to Hannah, I think they said, like, that's right, Hannah, I effed your mother or something like that. <laughs> um, when, in all caps, it, it was kind of ridiculous. But Hannah was hurt by this because of, of this also had a lot to do with what had went down uh, several weeks ago and uh, some other stuff. 
Um, and she felt really down. She was going to leave the chat, and uh, she she it really brought her down. This one negative voice, because that negative voice is the one that screams out with a freaking <laughs> of one of those megaphone things. I guess that's what you call them. <laughs> Um, so, I, I just lost my train of thought there. Oh. That voice is screaming out, and it's gonna bring you down, it's gonna try to bring you down at least. You can't let it. Because in that particular instance, that one negative voice is one negative voice. One. Number one. Whereas you've got at least 20 positive voices. And sometimes it's hard. It, it, it's very hard. When you've got these positive voices saying, no, you're fine, you're fine, but then you know, all is good. Hey, we love you. We care about you. We got uh, the, uh, the, this and the other thing. When they're saying all these positive things, but then you get that one negative voice, you suck! That is the voice that is going to be easiest to listen to. It's easiest, but it's not the right voice to listen to when you've got those 20 positive voices trying to pick you back up again. So, in that particular instance, um, pretty much what you got to do is... Um, Take note of how many positive voices there are and listen to them. And this one uh, negative voice, which is solely trying to bring you down, get you to respond negatively, all you can do is, all you, all you should really do is just say, huh, okay, good for you. Now go away. You cut them out, you block that out, and you move on with your life and you stick with those positive voices. That's just one example. There are many others that pertain to this, um, that pertain to what I'm saying here, which can be real life as well. Um, a way to look at it is um, if you are being bullied like at school or anything else, um, in any way, just know that a, there are a few possible reasons as to why they are doing it. Um, one possible reason, which is probably the most likely reason, most of the time this is probably why, is because the, that bully is living such a negative life. Things are just not going their way, and they are near the lowest of lows. And they feel terrible about themselves. They feel really bad about themselves. So in order to pick themselves up again, they need to bring others down to make themselves feel better and make them feel like, oh, this is normal for me to be all the way down here because now I have company down here. That's what they're trying to do. That's one particular, uh, or that's one reason, but that's probably the most likely one. They're just going through such negative crap that uh, it's gotten to the point that in order to help them feel better, they need to bring others down. Uh, a couple other reasons could be them just trying to act tough because they feel like they're not tough enough. They need to be... You need to be the big strong guy and or or girl, um, and just uh, be like they they need to be cool, which it isn't cool. It's wrong. Um, peer pressure. They they got pressured into doing it by someone else, possibly. But then that person that's also a form of bullying, in my opinion, peer pressure. 
um, or jealousy. You have something that they don't. So instead, what they're going to do is they are going to pick out uh, something that uh, they feel they can bring you down with, and they're going to run with it. And that's because they're just jealous, but they need to make it look like, yeah, 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 that they, they're not better than me, even though this just proves the point that actually, yes, you are. <laughs> but if that is happening to you, just know this, no matter who it is, you're going to have a group or someone who cares about you, is willing to listen, if you ever need to talk about anything, anything at all, just know that there is always someone who will be willing to listen, even if that is a total stranger. You cannot keep it bottled up. If you do, you're going to do something down the road that you'll regret. I'm going to be blunt, blunt here and say suicide is probably, probably one of them, excuse me. Um... So that, that, that's the absolute worst thing that you can do is just take it and bottle it up. But um, essentially what I'm trying to say here is um, do not keep it bottled up. Talk to someone about it. Talk to anyone at all. But know that uh, you always have a group of, a group of people, whether it be friends family, or just some random person. They will be willing to listen. You'll be amazed as to just how many uh, people, if you just like, just be friendly with a random stranger, they'll see that as like you trusting them. And they'll, and more often than not, they will, they will reciprocate and um, they'll, they'll, they'll listen. So that's the one one other thing that I wanted to say, um, so on top of, um, do not listen to the negative voices as loud as they are, they are the minority. The positive voices are the majority. And those are the ones that you need to listen to. It's hard, but trust me, it will massively benefit you in the long run. Um, and then also, um, just being able to identify that, hey, I, I, bullies are gonna, bullies do what they do because they, what, what they say you are is probably what they are. If they call you a loser, then they're, then they feel like a loser in their own lives. If they're making fun of some type of disability that you have or like your haircut or just how you look in general, that's because they feel ashamed about some kind of disability they have or their own haircut or their own looks or whatever. They need to bring others down to make themselves feel better. My saying in life to everyone who has watched this entire, probably going to be 15 plus minute video, this is my saying to you. Do not let the negatives in life make you numb toward the positives. In other words, do not let negative events or anything negative in your life outweigh the positives in life. And these positives would include friends, communities that you're in, or any other um, big event that you've got going on in your life. Those can be overshadowed by negative events because that's just how our minds work. Because the negative events stand out more from the positives even though the positives are more numerous. It's important to focus on the majority, the silent majority, 
not the loud minority. Because if you if you're gonna listen to that uh, loud minority your whole life, you're gonna be in a pretty dark mindset. And I'm trying to pick you up out of that. I hope that this video um, and me just rambling here uh, at least helps somewhat. Um, so it's a pretty long video, but I just wanted to get that out there. And uh, yeah, I made this because I hate negativity. I try and avoid it at all costs. And I'm trying to just help pick you guys up. Or anyone who sees this. Because I care about you. Yes, you. Whoever you are. <laughs> I care about people. And this is my way of showing that. And I do hope that uh, this helps. I do hope that you take something away from this. And uh, I hope that... Uh, you have a very good day or night whenever you're watching this video and um, if you're going through anything dark right now or any negative event um, just push on through it there's gonna be a light at the end of the tunnel there always will be never ever ever doubt that there won't be talk to people that uh, you know will care because that's a pretty big list of people who will care if you need to talk to someone do that and uh, do not listen to the loud minority you need to listen to the majority and that majority is the positive majority that is what you need to focus on in life one person says something negative about you, you cannot let that outweigh the 20 people who are saying positive things about you and are saying that they care for you and are saying that they are there for you. I am Todd Bragster, and I wish you the very best. That said, thank you for watching. If you watch this whole thing through, I appreciate it. And uh, you take care of yourself. That said, take care. And bye for now.